question to the engineer. Uh, yung preventive maintenance nyo by external providers for equipment is the responsibility, sabi mo, of the external provider? Yes, po. Doc. Kaya lang, uh, may issue kayo dahil hindi nila ginagawa? Yes, po. Doc. Uh, so, ang responsibility, ang role nyo is to remind them? Yes, po. Doc. Okay. Tapos noon, uh, measurement nyo is before 14%, then after 96%. Yes, po. Doc. How many how many of the equipment under warranty broke down before the implementation and how many broke down after? Um, implementation of the new settings. Uh, ang tingdo ko niyo po, Doc, is yung mga equipment na nag-go under repair. Oh, nag-go uh, under repair pero under warranty. Under warranty po, Doc. Actually, uh, we don't have that uh, specific quantity po, Doc. But, uh, kasi madami po kami uh, medical equipment, technician and duties, pero based on our experience po doc, there are, uh, ano po, uh, yung po yung sinahit kong example po kanina, like, uh, yung major equipment po natin na CT scan, na uh, during its warranty period na hindi po nakakandak on time yung preventive maintenance po doc. Then suddenly, uh, uh, pagkatapos po ng warranty niya, nagkaroon ng problema yung unit. So, dun po kami nag-come up with my uh, work with, na ito yung magandang gamin natin is study. Ah, oh, tama. Uh, so, wala pa kayong... Kasi it will also tell us kung kagano effective yung preventive maintenance to maintain that equipment para hindi mag-breakdown, di ba? Kasi ang endpoint nga nung hindi nga na preventive maintenance is mag-breakdown siya. Opo, Doc. So, maganda i-measure siya. Do you have problems with external providers in doing PM for equipments under warranty? Yes, po, Doc. Napakalaking problema po, Doc. Since uh, may mga supplier po talaga na kahit anong uh, tawag namin uh, sa engineering is uh, hindi po sila nagre-respond po talaga. Although nagsasambi naman sila, nagkukumik sila, pupuntahan po namin this day, this month. Pero yun nga po, hindi na po namin makontrol yun na talagang kailangan panghilahin to palagang puntahan yung unit. Kasi kami sa uh, biomed engineering, binabalyo po talaga namin yung preventive maintenance ng medical equipment. And uh, I think a lot of uh, people will thank you for that. Did you measure financial and maintenance costs before and after PM? Uh, yes, po, Doc. I mean, ano, meron din po uh, financial measure. Since uh, mayroon pong mga equipment na during warranty period, mayroon pong costing yung uh, preventive maintenance nila because of the consumables or the PM kit na kinakabit sa machine which is uh, 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 sinusunod din po ng supplier kung ano po yung manufacturer standard so sometimes uh, yung frequency natin is quarterly or semi-annual or annual so uh, natin is uh, every 6 months so after 6 months kahit na yung function is nagpo-function uh, functioning on its 100% condition uh, the supplier will uh, still recommend to replace that PM kit and yun po yung binibili ng NCH as part na rin po na maiwasan yung mas malaking problema kung sakaling magkaroon ng uh, repair dun sa mga major part ng machine. Okay. Eh, uh, so, you have data but it is not consolidated? Yes po. Hindi lang po na so, nakakompile ng... To measure the impact of your study, oh, pati yun na i-present nyo. Oh, the quotation or the, yung mga nagkagastos po kasi doon is nagpo-call po sa procurement. Okay. So, kailangan nyo na... Uh, Coordination, uh, coordination with procurement and uh, materials management section. Thank you. Actually, uh, po, I am not engineer. I am a medical equipment technician. Po. <laughs> Which is commendable because when you answer questions, as if you are an engineer. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. <laughs> Engineer Ganado. But already the management of your assets. Yes, po. From acquisition up to disposition. Because your maintenance is just part of the management of all these devices or equipment that you have. And sa inyo nyo rin ang galing na engineers, yung engineering unit is expected to make sure that everything is in good working 
living condition. Yes, po. Ma'am. Yun yung sinabi mo kanina. Ako. So, more on that, consider the scope of the process starting from the asset acquisition up to asset disposition. That will be forming part of your process, not just maintenance. Ako, ma'am. Okay. Um, you might want to consider also adding as an objective availability of maintained equipment at the time of need. At any given time, yes, whoever needs it, it's there. Yes, it's readily available. Yes, okay. For the whole presentation, I don't have any questions. Wow. Thank yeah. you, Paul. More on uh, suggestions. Thank you, Paul. Um, engineer na yeah. engineer ang dating mo kasi. <laughs> but anyway, yan. Ako rin, wala akong uh, questions doon sa presentation and sa paper. Uh, what I want to be able lang, siguro, what I want to be able to say lang siguro is, I've never seen a hospital like like yours na pinakialaman ang mga underwarag period na <laughs> ng mga ano, kayo lang talaga. And I commend you for that. Wow. Uh, meron pa akong suggestion pala din sa uh, external providers kasi nahihirapan kayong atakin sila. Uh, enforce nyo yung accreditation of external providers nyo. Uh, kung may cycle kayo ng two or three years, at hindi sila nagpa-perform doon sa PM nila, uh, eh di may impact yun doon sa accreditation uh, nila. Evaluation po ng accreditation nila. Diba? And not only within your organization, but also to other government, nandiyan naman yung other institutions, maririnig nila o. Oh. <laughs> hindi nagpa-perform yung mga providers. Yes po. Thank you po. Thank you. Huh? Oh, pala. <laughs>